Again, back to the overseer. You guys just all went into fucking fight mode quick, Jesus. You've taken so much radiation in, like, not damage, but, uh, whatever. Getting ridiculous. Okay. The into the overseer's office. Have the password to ha to use the terminal. Uh, system open armory door. There we go. Yeah, that's just not. We're not gonna read the journal. We don't care about the journal. We'll come back and read the journals later when we don't care. <laughs> we are here for Veronica's weapon. That's it. Yeah, you guys all still hear that? Wait a minute. Oh, but that was the first thing. Kept. Amazingly, they still manage to outweigh the half blind or pretty cool. You're half blind? Overall, Wolf for being a um, disabled badass. Let me guess. Yep, there's a wolf, one down here waiting for us. And he's dead. There we go. Much better. Finally got in. Finally loot this place and take it for all it's worth. It's in this one. 10, 10 millimeter rounds. Cool. Why don't I just walk over? Oh, grenades. <laughs> so much stuff in here. God. So much crap. Why did I buy half these things when I could just literally have taken them from the boomers? Don't even need half this crap. Taking it all though. Sell it all. Key. Pulse gun for Veronica. Huh. Figured it'd have more buttons and dials and stuff, you know? Oh well. It's still the electronic equivalent of a disease from Gamora. <laughs> That is a distinct and unique way of describing the weapon. Is that the all American? Nope. Uh, give me the extra 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, we got everything. I'd repair all this crap. Uh, marksman carbine, yep. Boom. Where's the mercenary one? Need to repair it, okay. We have so much stuff to carry around, god damn. What did I just pass? No, we're not doing that. Okay, let's see what we can repair in here. What? Oh, wait. Oh, that's an idea. I didn't think I could even do that. Shit, hell yeah. Combat. Hell yeah. That just saved me so much effort. Uh, the combat helmet we can repair because that's probably worth way more. Um, I think, yeah, that's all we can repair now. Eddie, buddy, need you to carry some stuff. I know, I'm so sorry. You, 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 all you do is carry my shit. I'm sorry. I feel bad. 
But like, buddy. Good shit. Some really good shit, actually. Uh, I'll take that for now. Um... I don't know if I can actually use that to hunt, hunt, to show, show to repair that. We'll find out in a second. You can hold way more than it, so. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you, buddy. Now, how do I get up to the second floor? Can I even get to the second floor? I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. I think I'll make Um, Where the Like, it looks like I can get up there, but I don't think I actually can. I don't think I can get up there. I don't see any way I can get up there anyway. Can I get up there? I don't know. I'm checking. Got that. Yep. Uh, once neutralized, the army password allows you to. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All American found it overturned. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. The upper gantry is inaccessible. Okay. Oh shit, we're taking way too much. Shit, 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 shit. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Nope. We took way too long in there. I wasn't paying attention to my radiation at all. And we're out of here. We got all we wanted. The, um, the reactor stuff will definitely be a post- DLC thing because I don't remember the quest exactly and I don't want to fuck the quest up before I get it. Specifically because I'm prone to do that. If I don't have the opportunity, I can't screw it up. We we'll just head out. We'll come back to this vault later. The whole place has been cleared out as we we can see. So when we return, it'll be simple in, out, do the reactor and get out. Hell yeah. Checking over here to see if we missed anything. Don't remember coming over the, across the bridge. Did I come in here? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Oh well. Oh, hello. That was rude. Yeah, I think I actually, I think I did come over there. Now that I think about it, yeah, I think I was over there, okay. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Fuck this vault. <laughs> Fuck it. Back out to the sunlight where we belong, where there's no radiation everywhere. You know, the good shit. I will say, at the risk of jinxing myself, I'm glad that it was just golden geckos and ghouls, and not like death claws and fucking cazadors in there. God, that was sucked so much. And also, just because I don't trust this game, saving all the work we just did. Because, fuck if I'm doing all that again. Yes! 
We have good karma, finally. <laughs> Fucking finally. God, that took us way too long. Uh, okay, um, how much caps do we have? 3,000 caps, not bad. Oops, did not mean to do that. I'm not even gonna look at that. Beth just sent me a text that says Thomas the Dank Engine, and I don't wanna look. Can't make me. Okay, return with Veronica the Brothers, steal evidence, misguided priorities, bring the pulse gun back to the elder, find an, find a way to enable. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go find a way to enable the goddamn. Up, oh, it crashed. See? I knew it. We knew we were bound for crashing again. We knew it. At least the crashes are happening after I do something important. I'm not losing like an entire game's worth of progress. I mean, you know. Fuck the fucking fallout though. So before we can do the DLC, I have to send everyone home, which is going to be a bitch. Because, yeah, it's just going to suck. Also, I'm kind of wondering, like, who the fuck are you about? Don't know. So we're going to go to Helios 1, I guess, to prove that we cannot use that weapon. Because the Archimedes is a bad idea. Also, we can turn off Vault 30. Oops. We can go back in what here now. I'm a busy woman. Nothing, you're fine. Chill. Fuck. Jeez, don't make it a fucking big deal. Cutting through. Nope, not this one. That other spot. I keep waiting for them to get mad at me for being around. It's good to like, oh, this is a restricted area. Civilian dude just walks by with uh, four oh. friends. It's like, yeah, no biggie. Just, just doing our own thing. Don't fucking question it. Cha. 
Excuse me, coming through. How you doing? Hi, Ignacio. Okay, I think we gotta go inside this building really quick. Again, at least. Also, I just realized we didn't help out the um, boomers regarding the ants at the generator. I'll have to do that at some point. Somebody make a note of that. Yep, this is the way. Wow, didn't mean to say that. This is the way. Do do do. All the way up back and around this again. Been a while since we've been here. Like, what, I think like a week's worth of games we haven't been here. Anything else we missed? No, probably not. I'm gonna scoot on through to the other side. I think it was a side? Yeah. Nope, scrap metal. We don't need that. What do you got? Scrap metal? Nope. Let's keep on going. Boop. Uh, this way, then this way, I think. Nope. This way. We got we have to pass the robot. Pass the robots. Once we pass the robots, it's the observation level. We gotta go talk to this thing. Oh no, okay. Oh, I know what we did. Duh. Okay. It just dawned on me what we have to do. We have to stand here and be, have her see that it's just a solar farm. What I need to do? Find a way to enable the rangefinder alias one. And maybe I have to actually go inside the thing? Maybe I have to actually just go talk to the, the server computer and then be like, oh, it's this. I actually don't know. Um oh. Also I don't I don't know. If um, we're allowed to fast travel from that point above. Bottle caps. How did I miss the bottle caps? Ooh, more bottle caps. Hell yeah. Um, Archimedes testing. Um, initial trials. Ending the successful launch of Archimedes 2. Da, da, da. What happened? Okay. Saving, because I don't want to fuck up something. Remember, I'm holding in my inventory that. Disarm. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it. You know what we're gonna do? Just gonna load right before that. No alarm. We don't need to find out. You know what, Veronica? You don't need to anything else from here. We're just gonna go bring back the pulse gun. We don't need anything else. We really don't. Like we don't need to worry about it. We really don't. It's fine. Hi guys, could you just not fucking... Don't all look at me like that, it's creepy. Who 
from the fucking Brotherhood. All right, so Veronica, you're gonna go talk to McNamara and we're gonna make sure that he knows that you tried your best. What's up? Um, some questions. Yeah, questions I wanna ask you. He was dead when I got there. Not even remotely what I was gonna, you know. Darn it. It's just no, I did not expect. Um, Raul? What can I do for you, boss? Can you repair stuff? Um. Sure. How old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. I'm an open book. What is Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Uh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. Watch something else. I'm an open well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. <laughs> but I'm just a broke down old man. How did Tabitha find you, I mean? Uh, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast. Just past the time. Well, one day the signal stopped, so I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around permanently. Oof. I'm an open book. Um, how can I best use your skills? I'm not much use besides... Can you re still repair my equipment? I don't have the supplies for a real repair job. But I can do some routine maintenance to keep your gear working longer. That's what it I want. It won't exactly get better, but it'll get worse slower. That's what I want to do. How, how do I do that? Um. Okay, or not, I guess. I want you to repair my stuff. There you are. A few of us want to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we set aside some of our recycled energy cells. Oh, we'll leave thanks. a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The pal didn't scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Well, I will gladly take it. Like, you can let them know I will gladly take their recycled shit. Just because it'll piss off the paladins. There it is, the Foot Locker. Oh shit, that's a lot. Okay, yeah, fuck. I need to start using energy weapons. Actually, I'm going. Ooh. I'm gonna have so much ammo. After dead money, all that fucking energy weapon ammo. It is gonna be so put to use. For those who don't know, dead money gives you a very badass energy weapon. And it is over fucking powered. Hey, Veronica. Is she gonna talk to him on her own? Do I need to do it? There we go. Veronica, I hope. I brought you a present. We found a gun that disables power armor. One of these could defeat the whole Brotherhood. We have to stop limiting our focus to military technology. It won't save us. That could be the only one of its kind. That's not the point. Technology won't win our wars. We need numbers, new recruits. What does the Codex say? A bunch of closed-minded bullshit. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance, for me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. <sighs> I know. Come on, I can't listen to this anymore. Sorry, Veronica. It sucks because no matter what you do, no matter what you bring, they don't care. What's up? 
and it just it's, it's just depressing to know there's black mountain damn boomers vegas the ncr thing and i'm assuming that's repcon like i said i really feel bad for veronica because She is desperately trying to. He wouldn't listen. Yes. The truth was right there, staring him in the face. How could he not listen? His mind was made up from the start. I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? <laughs> you should take over now. What does that leave you? I. I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life somewhere else. Work with the followers of the apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do whatever I can until it comes to a slow or sudden end. This is a very, very important metaphor or something that many people go through the um, sunk cost fallacy do you stay with a failing endeavor because of how much time you've put in and because how much you care about it or do you get out and do what you can to thrive and do better or something else yes all these people she loves and cares about but if they are not willing to even listen to her why should she waste her breath her time her energy when she can save herself I would say, I honestly believe leaving is her only shot as, as, at a future. There's no getting around that, is there? What would my life be like here, knowing what's to come? Exactly, you'll be and miserable. Like this. We're given a chance when we're young to choose whether to stay. If we do, it's supposed to be for life. But they haven't left me any choice. It's this or a lifetime of scavenging and watching my friends die and losing battles. I guess it's settled then. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this, and some fresh air would do me some good, right about now. Like I said, it sucks, because she's not making the choice out of like, oh, I'm right, you're wrong. She's making the choice, I'm doing what I have to do for me, and she can't save them. They don't want to be saved. So all she can do is walk away. That being said, if you're ever in a position where you have to choose between walking away from someone who does not want to be saved or constantly forcing the attempt to save them, they don't want to be saved, you can't force it. Some people just want to stay in their slow declining misery. And that's nothing about, like, this. that's no, not you are a bad person for walking around. There you are. We heard Veronica talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. You're neither head scribe nor an Elder. Their sentimentality prevents them from administering justice. Our duty is to the Codex above all, something your companion has forgotten. And that gives us the authority to make it our place. Won't be a problem, she's leaving. Leaving? Into exile? Good. Save us the trouble. But mark me well. Any hint of treachery or thought of return, and we will erase the both of you from existence. We heard Veronica talking with the Elder. We won't stand for this. <sighs> you know what the big deal is. High Elder Maxim didn't just found the Brotherhood. He defined it. To serve in the Brotherhood is to serve his ideals. Our way of life is based on them. We know no other path. There is no other path. With her leanings, Veronica spits in the face of every knight, paladin, and scribe to serve in our ranks. She's leaving. Leaving? Into exile? Good. Save us the trouble. But mark me well. Any hint of treachery or thought of return, and we will erase the both of you from existence.
Well, if there was any question of whether I should leave, I guess there's my answer. I'm sorry, Veronica. Sure you're okay? Yeah. I think if I stayed, I'd end up causing trouble. Sometimes I just can't help myself. And that's why this you're on the team. better for me and for them. All right, let's get out of here. I think that'd be best. There's a followers outpost up near one of my old scavenging grounds. Used to do some trading with a doctor there. If I work out of there, I'll still be able to keep tabs on Hidden Valley if I needed to. I know that route like the back of my hand. Sounds if good. It's all right, I'd like to head that way. Meet some people, see if I can be of any use. Well, that's totally fine. Let's do it. We already been there, so it's like we we know where we're going. Totally no problem. Ooh. Does that say? The sun is killing me. Fucking got that right. Come on, gang. The door. Oh. <laughs> Um, you? What can the followers of the apocalypse do for you today? Uh, this is Veronica, formerly of the Brotherhood of Steel. She's interested in joining your cause. The Brotherhood? Well, this is unusual, I must say, but very welcome. There's certainly a lot we could learn from your technological expertise. Dr. Schiller usually handles placement and he won't be back until tomorrow. If you could come back then, we can see about your assignment. Okay. Take care of yourself. So we just head outside and wait for a day. Just kill 24 hours. I already know how it's going to go, but, you know, kill 24 hours anyway. And hey, guys, 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 I, I need to get by. Come on. Thank you. Veronica. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. The Brotherhood really went this far. Rather than let Veronica just leave. Sharing knowledge with an outsider organization. I knew Veronica couldn't be trusted. We tracked your movements a long way, but it was worth to catch her in the act. Passing Brotherhood secrets to outsiders is the lowest form of treason. What have you got to say for yourself? She hasn't shared any of them, you fuckers. She has made her intentions plain. We will not risk any further damage. In the name of the Elder, I hereby sentence you to death. Yeah, well, uh -oh. guess what? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I forgot. I had this thing. Hold on. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck. God, I did this. this no, you was didn't. My fault. Why didn't I see this coming? Of course they'd track me. Of course they'd assume the worst. Sure, I left them, but that didn't mean I'd ever be free of them. I should have known I was beaten before I began. I just... I had to try, you know? You don't control people who did this. You can just join somewhere else. No, not a chance in hell. I'm not risking this happening again. I'm gonna have to keep to myself. Better that way, for everyone. I'll still finish what I started with you, though. If you're not afraid, that is. I'll just try not to get too caught up in it all. This is why the Brotherhood is, like, a problem. 
We all love them until we realize the damage they do because of their whole fanatical views. And people can be like, oh, but, you know, it's their way. Their way fucking sucks. Especially when you take into account what the damage is for those who are not part of the Brotherhood. It's not worth the, the like, the trade. They do not make it worth it. You don't just read books, you tear into them. Damaged books you pick up become blank magazines, which you... Ooh. I don't want to save that one. Yeah, I kind of want to save that one for later. For each cripple written label you have, you do an additional to. Ooh. Um. So what I want is kind of. I don't know, so I'm going to do another intense training. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to go with... Um, charisma. I can't believe we got out of like what one HP. Three HP. Oh my god. We really just damn. Veronica, you know you're taking all of this crap and like you're getting free armor repair. Listen, I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that things didn't go like I'd hoped, but at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Thank you for giving me that chance. Of course. Like, come on. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a... Not a dress yet. You will definitely you get around. your dress. I promise. Dress is on the damn list. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. What's up? Got some stuff for you. Ooh, got something good for me? Yes. Is it a dress? Girl, swear to God. Um, can't let lasers, we can prepare. Do, do, do. Um, I think I can get rid of some more of that weight by dropping all these. Okay, we can drop all of these because we're just going to drink them. Those cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Much better. How's our karma? Again, I feel so bad for her. Yes. All right. So, how's the brotherhood still liked? Good. Okay. So, good place to end it. Um. Well, actually, hold on. Um. Hold on, hold on. How's that over there? Gang, I, I, I need you all to move. There. We are going to. But first, I want to do something else. Uh, the fort, Lake Mead Cave. Nope. Where is it? Your nest. Forlorn Hope. That's what I wanted. Okay. Ow. Pop my shoulder. 
Okay. Come on, gang. Gotta go to one little spot before we can uh, call this a night. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you also, you'll notice that the color is back here. It's not saturated. Because the more good you do for the camp, the more um, color returns because they have hope. It was a cool thematic thing they did. Um, the creators admitted... Eesh. These soldiers look how I feel, boss. <laughs> um, but no, the creators admitted that they made forlorn Camp Forlorn Hope purposely desaturated until you do a lot of help. That way, um, once it's all been helped out, you know, you give them hope again, the color returns. Which is so cool. Loved it. Such a cool concept. It's so very far from love. That's what we're looking for. The abandoned brotherhood bunker. Take it all. Equipment storage. 